Hey, Aaron, you had mentioned yesterday that Jonathan Lewisigo was still going through the intake process. Any update on where he is? He is in. He is. Uh, he was here today. He threw a bullpen today, actually. Um, so, and he's he's been able to really do a lot of work while he's been home in Nicaragua. Um, he's thrown a lot of live. He's even been in some games over there. So, um, he, he should be good to go. And I, I think tentatively we have him uh, going Saturday uh, a couple innings. But he looked good today. He had been a guy that you always viewed as possibly a starter, but could be in the bullpen. Has your viewpoint on him changed at all, knowing what's going on and the fact that it's a 60-game season? No, but I think he's going to be really valuable for us, um, and, and he's continued to develop. Um, I feel like was in the midst of a really good spring, um, not only just his game work, but but behind the scenes. And uh, he looks really good right now. He, he's come in ready to go, and, and I'm excited about him and, and you know what I believe his contributions will be to our team this year, to our pitching staff in, in whatever role it may be. You had mentioned that Clint had been dealing with a little bit of a foot issue. What mm -hmm. exactly is that issue, and did Kyle Higashioka participate today? Yeah, Kyle did. Kyle should be good to go tomorrow. Uh, he'll be catching. Uh, Clint, yeah, he's just had a little plantar fascia, um, but it really hasn't held him back. We've kind of held him back here in the early going of getting him out in the outfield. Um, but he was out sprinting today, doing all his outfield work, doing all his you know, base running and, and, and uh, obviously hitting. So um, I don't expect it to slow him much. Um, we're kind of just going easy with him here at the start. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Take the next question from Christy Acker. Christy, go ahead. Hi, Aaron. I was just curious. Um, we saw Miguel Andujar um, taking ground balls at first base and doing a little extra work there today. You know, he's you know, you've got a full outfield now that everybody seems healthy. Where do you see him playing the most for you this year? I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I know. I, I think you guys have gathered probably just from talking to me how excited I've been. Uh, with his work in the corner outfield spots, um, not only this winter, but then transitioning into spring, and then what we've even seen in some game game action he's had. Um, he's done a good job at third as well. He hasn't done as much first, and um, but you know we'll we'll get him a little bit of work there um, around his you know prioritizing third base in the corner outfield spots, but also we will get him some work at first just so, you know, in case we get in a situation, we have that option as well. But, um, you know, feel good about where Maggie's at in, in his defensive progression. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from George King. George, go ahead. Aaron, this might have been for you. Uh, I'm sorry. You're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good, George. That's right. Aaron, this might have been for yesterday. The other night, Britton moving towards first looked like he took a misstep. Is he okay? Yeah, he's good. Um, actually made a pretty good play going that way and then went and fielded the bunt or the squibber down the third baseline and made a good play. So, yeah, Britt's fine. Okay, and uh, do you have anything on Tanaka? No, um, a little more of the same, a little more elevated of a heart rate today. Uh, I mean, Got his heart rate a little going a little bit more today, and he responded well. But still, at this point, taking it slowly. But um, he's doing pretty well. Take our next question from Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney. Hey, Aaron. Uh, two things: Is Jordan Montgomery to the point in his rehab where he's good for you starting at the beginning of the year, or does he still have some more work to do? No, he's he's right in there with the with everyone else. Um, you know, he's he's ramped up pretty good. He's actually scheduled to go tomorrow, and you know, I, I you know I I anticipate you know probably three innings, maybe maybe three plus, even possibly fifty, sixty pitches type deal. Um, no, Monty's Monty's good to go, and stuff wise, um, really since spring training, he came in throwing the ball really well, and we've continued to see that. Um, say, same stuff um, from the quality of, of his stuff uh, here in the early going to summer camp. And uh, there were some teams that chose to put some of their top prospects in their 60-man pool, 
and keep up their development time, mm -hmm. uh, the guys at the lower levels. You chose not to. I know that's more of a Brian thing, but it's somebody who probably had a say in it. What yeah. was some of the discussion about that? Well, um, I take a little issue, and some of our – we do have a, quite a few of our top prospects here. Um, you know, some of them happen to be on the 40-man now, but they're all very young players in their development in a lot of cases. So I think it is a lot of our top prospects. We had some, we had some organizational conversations about a couple of other guys that we really considered. Um, and we had some spirited debates on those things, but decided to go this way. So we feel like we have a little bit of a blend. Um, we held off on a couple others just because of, of the unknown moving forward and that, you know, we're, we're in this to win it, so we wanted probably a little more um, uh, major league ready in case, you know, you know, we get into a little bit of a dire situation. Take the next question from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead. Um, hey, Aaron. Uh, yesterday, Garrett Cole said that he was looking forward to the next day to see how he felt. So yeah. He, um, have you heard from him? Yeah, I did. He was he was good. Um, you know, I think felt how he probably had hoped to feel the day after, you know, taking another step in the progression. You know, 67 pitches last night, hot night. Um, you know, I think, you know, even though there's no fans, I think there was still that little bit of adrenaline. And, and obviously you saw his focus out there and the quality of his pitches. So, um you know, I was eager to check with him today when he got here and started moving around, and um, I think he felt how he hoped he'd feel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Erico, it's good to see your hand up. Please unmute. Go right ahead. Thank you, Jason. Hi, Aaron. I just Hi. to confirm for Massa. I saw Massa on the field today. Uh -huh. Was this the first time he was able to do something outside? No, he did, he, he did that yesterday as well. Um, you know, he's been doing his cardio inside, but then wanting to get him outside too in the light and moving around a little bit out there. So, um, you know, was able to, you know, do a little more of that today, but he did that yesterday as well and uh, responded well to it. So, uh, you know, we're continuing to move cautiously and slow with him, but, but at least encouraged with how he's, how he's responding to, to what we've put in front of him so far. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Eric Boland. Eric, go ahead and unmute. Hi, Aaron. Hi. What did you um, think of Gary's spring up until the, the point where it was postponed? And then what have you thought of, of him the first few days you've seen him out there here? Yeah. Um, I mean, we didn't have a lot of, I guess, sample, so to speak. Um, you know, I thought from a catching standpoint, um, I, I I thought the foundation was was really solid, and I thought you know the things that Tanner's come in working with them, starting even a little bit in the winter time before spring training, carrying it over into spring training. Um, I thought the work was really good. Um, he was able to go back when he went home to Dominican and was still working on his things defensively a little bit, and I think he's come in here and. Um, and look good to me. I mean, one game now, um, but, but to be able to, or two games actually, back, back to back, two innings and then four innings, um, to be able to get out there last night, four innings with Garrett, I thought they did a really good job. We kind of, they ran through a mock kind of game plan beforehand and, you know, had what would be like a normal meeting, you know, between pitching coach Gary, Tanner and, and Garrett, um, and I felt like they were on a good page last night. Um, and I felt like, uh, you know, and kind of looking back at some of it from last night, um, I thought Gary did a really good job. Um, and then, you know, I'm confident the bat's going to be there. He hadn't really hit yet much in spring in his handful of at-bats. Um, thought he had a really good BP session today. And, um, you know, but I'm encouraged about where he is right now. James Wagner, go ahead. Hey, Aaron. I saw procedurally you guys put uh, DJ and Luis on the DL. I mean, are they backdated? I guess to a certain date to like when they might be out. Yeah, I don't. I don't. They come back soon. I don't know. I might. 
Zillow, do you have uh, the? Uh, I, James, I believe they are backdated, yeah. but I'm going to need to text Gene or somebody yeah. to get confirmation, which I, I will do. Okay. And then just, for, I mean, just if anyone obviously tests positive, they have to, you know, test negative twice, they have to be a symptomless. It sounds like that knocks them out for a kind of, I know it's a short season this year, a significant amount. Just how much is of a challenge of dealing with that? Like, you know, obviously the health comes first, but how much they'll end up missing, I guess, of the season preparation, I guess. Well, anyone that ends up in that situation. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think, uh, I think actually in some cases it may not be a, a, a case where it's a long time. Um, you know, just based on, you know, I've seen people that have tested positive and, and then, you know, a few days later are, are producing a couple of negative tests pretty quickly. So I actually think in some cases that might happen quickly. Um, but I think it's going to be across the board. I think there's certainly going to be guys that it, that it is a couple of weeks or a few weeks or who knows, um, we're, it's a little bit of an unknown, obviously, as we continue to move through this, and we'll try and handle it the best best way we can, and with you know, leaning on, you know, our entire roster if we need to. Take the next one from Max Goodman. Max, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, you got me. Yes. All right. Thanks for taking the time. Mm -hmm. Maybe this isn't the best day to ask this because rain shortened everything today, but. Uh, yesterday, Luke talked about just how important it is to have fun. Mm -hmm. And considering we're we're just about a week in of summer camp, and with Tanaka's injury and and the the COVID cases and such, I'm wondering what the atmosphere is is like in yeah. the clubhouse, just with the guys. I, good. Um, you know, I, I try and move through there, you know, periodically to check on the guys and. You know, it's certainly a little bit different and a little bit odd, and obviously with the social distancing and the masks, and, you know, it's not as, I guess, as tight as normal, but in a lot of ways when you walk through, guys are at their lockers, um, there's there's laughter, there's conversation, um, you know, there's, there's that camaraderie going on. So, look, it's, it's different, but... But in a lot of ways, I do feel like guys are coming in here and able to enjoy being here and able to enjoy their teammates as well. I think we have a final one from Christy. Christy Ackert, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, just a follow-up from last night. You said you guys were going to try and get clarification on the baseball with yeah. Eric Cole and stuff like that. One, did you? And two, <laughs> I mean, I called baseball today. They didn't seem to have a clear reading on it. Did right. You, you know, who do you call for these things? Yeah, I, I did talk to, um, I actually talked to one of our trainers about it just a little while ago. Um, so it is absolutely discouraged throwing the ball around. And But I think there's a little bit of discretion in there about, you know, if a number of guys handle a ball in, in a over a course of a play, that ball's typically going to be thrown out. Um, you know, any, you watch any game now, balls get thrown out all the time anyway. Um, maybe that'll be a little bit more now, um, but I think it's just avoiding a lot of guys handling the ball in a given play. But usually when a play happens nowadays, pre-COVID, you know, once a ball's in play and it gets, it gets thrown out pretty quickly anyway.